main event of tonight, which is the great graphics draw off. Oh, I am so excited about this. And I'm going to bring in uh, our graphics manager here at Pitcher List. It's the one and only Justin Paradis. The only reason we have any of the graphics we do is because of Justin, who joined the team two years ago and has just reshaped how we have images for our articles and just it's incredible. He's a Red Sox fan for some reason, too. Uh, <laughs> and you have a non-purple webcam, which is also really wonderful. Yes, I thought I'd upgrade for tonight. <laughs> oh, man. So, okay, so this is this is a really, really fun idea. Uh, and how this is going to work, Justin, um, you want to actually outline the entire thing for everybody because I feel like you should be the one to do that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to have a competition to see who can who of our graphics team can have the best wallpaper so phone wallpaper i should mention um so the idea is that we, none of our designers has have seen the picture we're going to use as a base uh and we're all gonna get the same exact picture we're going to then there's gonna be some thing to flip us out that nick will introduce that we we don't know of either and we're gonna have what is it 50 minutes nick 50 to, minutes yeah we might go a little bit longer on minutes. this panel because we don't have anything after but we're going to okay. try and have that 10 p.m. cutoff, but we'll see. But I'll be jumping in, in between everybody, and we might as well bring in the rest of our contestants today. So on yeah, top of good. Justin Paradis, uh, we have J.R. Keynes. Welcome, J.R. Hey. How you doing, man? Hey, how's it going? Pretty, pretty I, good. Uh, my um, video feed is on a separate uh, laptop. That, oh, here it is. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're all good, but you guys laptops. I'm I'm trying to cheat already. There you go. You guys can I uh, you can thank J.R. Keynes for the a lot of the ebook from last year. If you remember that 700 plus pages, the amount of work J.R. put in that is unbelievable. Seriously, uh, incredible work with that, uh, and it's gorgeous. It's something that I know that I will treasure for a long time. But yeah, we've been really lucky to have you as part of this team, and I'm excited to see uh, what's ahead for you tonight. Thanks. Yeah, should be fun. Uh, next is Michael Packard. Oh no! Also Red Sox. Yes, oh God! Is. All right, got numbered, Nick. <laughs> got numbered. <laughs> oh, you welcome, guys? Packard. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, fantastic! So the PitchCon design is Packard's. Believe it or not, Packard was the one that came up with the logo, the whole style guide for it. An unbelievable work. Seriously, I mean, this looks so good. It looks so good, Pack. Yeah, my shirt, actually, it might have to be retired because I wore it too much. I just loved it, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, the shirt, I mean, you have that design, but you also have the, uh, um, actually, in the back of this right now, that one design. It's fantastic, man. Really excellent work. And it makes perfect sense, of course, for you to be a part of this tonight. So I'm glad you're here. Thank you, guys. I'm nervous. And, uh, of course, we also have Ethan Kaplan. How you doing, man? Hey, good to be here. Doing all right. Wow. How are you? Oh, fantastic. So, yeah, Ethan and I joined our team in December, but has done incredible work with us thus far. Um, and I'm just excited to see what you all are going to do tonight for this wallpaper. So, without further ado, this is how this is going to work. I'm going to send you all the information on the Discord with the image. And what's going to happen is I'm going to take all of you off the screen and then pull you one by one, checking in on you creating your graphic. Now, what this means is that you cannot be looking. You can hear them, you can listen to them, but you can't actually see how they're designing. I don't want you guys to get any sort of ideas. Yeah, about minutes. We don't have time to look at someone else. We're Good. Just someone else Good. That sounds great to me. Okay? Not happening. So I just, I'm gonna outline the rules to everybody right now. I just sent it to you guys too. So the objective is to create a wallpaper. The dimensions are gonna be 750 by 1334. Uh, you must use this one photo. You're allowed to use other assets. Uh, you have to comply with this stipulation. You have to include the city of the player in the photo. In some way, the city has to be there. Okay? Has to be done within 50 minutes. And the winner of this is going to be to be determined by the chat. Okay? If it's, it's some sort of tie, I will be the ultimate arbiter. But we're looking to the chat. It's on you to decide who wins the first annual graphics draw off. I okay, we might actually make it more yeah. than just annual. We'll see. If we do so the, maybe when you we have said another name. city has to be included, do you mean like a skyline or can it be any representation? Great question. I'm going to allow it up to interpretation. Okay. Right. The image is, I'm going to share it for everybody. 
oh. is this. Okay. There we go. Oh, man. It's Fernando Tatis Jr. Okay? You have 50 minutes, and I'm going to stop sharing now. Uh, and I'm going to actually get my timer back. Uh, go. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, I got, I'll try to get a timer. No. Uh, where's my timer from before? Okay, well, you guys have 50 minutes. I'm counting it down. I, uh, I'm going to give you guys a quick moment before we actually start interviewing everybody with it. Uh, but I am going to take you guys off now, so. So this is fun. I'm going to give them just a moment. It's a good moment to actually remind everybody, please support PitchCon if you can. Remember, 50% of what we raise is going to Feeding America. It's a fantastic cause. You also can win all these amazing prizes. Uh, we've almost unlocked a new one, uh, of course, that I've just gotten rid of from my screen. Ah, here we go. Uh, we're getting close to the Baseball HQ subscription and the MLB Forecaster. We have a PitchCon mug just ahead at $2,250. Hopefully we can get to that tonight. We've got this last panel. Would love your support. Obviously going to a fantastic cause. Uh, I want to get my lovely online timer somehow. No, that's not that one. Not that one. Come on. Is it this one? Oh, that's a disgusting one. <laughs> uh, wait, I can do this. Where is it? V clock. That was my guy. Okay. Uh, we're going to say it's now at 49 minutes. And we're going. Okay. So maybe I can do some fun stuff and add the timer uh, to this like I did before. Uh, so give me a second as I'm just giving them. Um, I'm giving them a moment to. Uh, to get their bearings before I start interviewing them. Uh, and I will get the timer on the screen. I'm assuming, oh, see, there you go. You can see it now. Uh, now I need to pull this down, get it over here, then pull it like this, add the video of me. Oh, I just got rid of the video of me. That's fine. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right, give me a second. Ta-da! Okay. Timer 2 goes above it. Boom. All right. There's the timer. Top right, top left corner. Okay, so we have 48 minutes left. <laughs> I'm going to check in first with Justin, who hasn't shared his screen. Uh, hopefully, Justin can share it now so that I can actually see what he's doing. But, Justin, I want to okay, talk I'm to you. What, what are your thoughts here right away? So, the thoughts are... Um... So you don't you don't necessarily know this, but uh, you know typically um, the hardest part about any design, this is a starting point, is having a, a picture that's cut out, right? Um, and uh, that was done. I think I think Jake, yeah, Jake Roy did that for us. for us. Fantastic work. So that, that saves us some time. Um, uh, so that that actually is usually, usually there's a big debate on there's a couple different ways to do that. Um, and you could probably could have seen us all doing it a different way had uh, we had that part had to do that because some people use a pen tool to trace around the outline mm -hmm. and uh, some people will just do um, basically just select the player because Photoshop's come a long way. So the fact that we don't have to do that gives us time to do some other things, which is nice. Nice. So what, what kind of approach are you going to have with this graphic, do you think? <laughs> Same approach as I have every time. Just you know, try to throw some stuff against the wall and see what sticks. Well, well I've seen that. You, okay, you already added the city of San Diego. You found some image of it, and you just kind of threw in the back. Is, it that, is that really it? Are you gonna, what, like, what are you going to add to the top and bottom? Are you going to well, add his name? It'd be pretty, pretty short if that was all I'm going to do. I'm yeah. going to <laughs> try to do a little bit more. We'll, we'll see. I'm not sure exactly where this is going to go, but we have some time to try to figure it out. All uh, right. All right. Well, I'll come back to you later. Hopefully, uh, it's it's more than just a yellow background um, next time <laughs> I talk to you. Gotcha. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> all right. We're going to go now to J.R. Keynes. I'm curious how his initial approach is going here. How you doing, J.R.? Hey, good. I'm going to try and talk and work at the same time. We'll see yeah. how it works. Oh, so look at this. So you've gone, you've gone the approach of sticking Tatis into the San Diego waves. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, dang it. My brushes aren't working. So what are you brushing here? What, what, what's, your, um, uh, what's your attack here? So the, the background image I chose here um, 
to get to T's where I wanted in it there. I was basically mm. faking sky. <laughs> <laughs> um, luckily, it's a nice soft gradient, so it's uh, pretty easy here. So now, I mean, I don't want to give too much away for everyone else. But they don't. They don't. They they're not listening to you. Okay. Um, so the um, goal here is just to try and get him inside of the waves. Mm. Um, and from there, I, I'm not really sure yet where I'm going to go with this. <laughs> okay. So are we are we thinking? Are we going to have some text involved? Is it just going to be yes. uh, Tatis? Okay. There will be text. Um, I might have to do some some statistic research. It depends on how much time I have left here. Cool. We got 45 yeah. minutes on the clock, so we'll see, see how can, that goes. I can pull up pull up the new picture list 6.0 and check out this, the leader <laughs> page there. There you go. Well, like, I, well I'll, I'll jump back to you, but cool to see this initial approach, JR. Okay. All right. Next up, we're going to go to Michael Packard here. How are you feeling so far, Pack? Oh, uh, a little overwhelming. So I typically work on my work computer and not for my home computer. Oh, man. Purchasing it for that reason. And um, sometimes it runs a little slow, but that ain't going to stop me. No, definitely not. So I see you have the city here. Um, it's a little disorienting at the moment. Yes. So I figured J.R. Keynes, I kind of got the hint that he would try to go a little uh, more unique than everybody else with it. And uh, I just wanted to stick traditional uh, landscape. I mean, uh, sure. scape here. Yep. And I figured since we're all going to be doing it, and all, honestly, it's, it's really long. So I'm going to try to incorporate it running along the side, maybe uh, intertwine it with some text here and really just overall get the layout of my design so I can go in and blend it all and make it feel like a like an actual atmosphere. You know? Oh, nice. Yes. Very exciting. Cool. All right. So so looking forward to seeing that. Thanks. Uh, thanks for the update. We'll, we'll be back soon. Yes. Thank you, Nick. All right, Ethan, how you doing? Hey. So, so how are uh, you feeling so far, and can you share your screen with me? Oh, I can. Um, I know. I'm, I'm eating into your crucial time. I get this. <laughs> you know, uh, going up against uh, talented people, um, I mean, that was – I've only been here – I think I've been here the shortest uh, out of my, my fellow competitors. Um, but I knew coming in uh, that just having seen picture list work that – there were some very talented people on staff and um, having gotten a, an even closer look, um, it's it's that much more intimidating. Um, but uh, uh, I'm excited to, to be here. And, and kind of, um, well, this is, okay. so so work with me through what your thoughts are when you heard Tatis, you have to have San Diego. How are you going to approach this? So, I mean, Tatis is the, the $340 million man. So, uh, you know, awesome, awesome decision. I was thinking about, all right, you know, we knew we were going to have one image. So I was thinking about, all right, what's, uh, you know, who's this going to be? And um, I guess my, my first thought was, um, what do I want to see on my phone, right? Sure. And so if I'm a Padres fan, you know, uh, uh, what do I know? Okay, Slam Diego, Tatis is, you know, the future. He's on the, you know, the cover of the show this year. So really just, you know, highlighting that and, and uh, making uh, him be front and center and, and just, you know, when I look at my phone, I'm like, yeah, Tatis, he's on my team. He's, you know, the guy I root for and love. So that's that's really my inspiration right now. Awesome. But, well, it looks like you got a nice Sam Diego thing going on over here. You have already the, the backdrop of the stadium. Really excited to see how this all comes together. Likewise. Cool. We'll be back. All right. I'm back to you, Justin. I've given you right. about seven minutes or so to, to, to take some steps forward. And oh, look at this! You've got a nice blend here, and you've uh, you've had added some effect to the city behind him. Yeah. So one of the things I noticed is that this is old. This is old uh, San Diego uniforms. They don't wear these blue uniforms anymore. They don't. They do not. No. So this is like retro. <laughs> um, so, so are you thinking like a retro look to to company that then? I can't have time to do George's laugh. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I'm just going to try to make this look as good as I can, um, given what I, I'm not really getting exactly what, how I want it to look right now, but um, I'm I'm working, it's it's not, I don't know, <laughs> it's not coming out exactly how I expected it, but we'll try to keep working on it. All right, okay, so uh, so how did you get that, that meld between the background and the city? 
the meld. Oh, so the, you molded them together. You melded them. You mended them, I guess. Is meld not a word? Maybe um, not. <laughs> there's like a, there's a blur that I like to use. It's mm -hmm. essentially, um, it, what it does is it, uh, it's called a radial blur. Okay. When you, I don't know if you can see this pop-up box, but it, it takes your backgrounds and it makes it pop out at you a little bit. Oh, um, interesting. And uh, that's kind of, usually there's, it's a little more dramatic, the effect. Mm -hmm. It's not really being dramatic right now. Um, but uh, that's that's what how it, it happens. And then I play with these, what these are called blending modes to give it a different kind of um, look and build and build. And hopefully I get it to look uh, atmospheric. That's the nice. idea. Well, it's certainly popping right now. Uh, yeah, I'm very, very curious to see uh, yeah, how you can make Tatis stand out relative to you know what you expect from the other people. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, make it so um, you can also see that a lot of people, people forget in wallpapers is you want to be able to see the time. So that's an important, leaving some space on, on top of the player is important, I Definitely. think. Yeah, I'm curious what text you're going to use. We've, uh, you know, we might see some different vari variations of what people are going to say. So curious to I would, see that. I would say so. And I'd like to th thank Ben Brown for confirming that Ooh. meld is in fact a word, a blend <laughs> or a mixture, he says in the chat. Thank you so much. Um, all right, I'm going to jump to JR Keynes now. Uh, JR, how's it going so far? Oh, look at this. Hey, good. I'm starting I'm, to use a reflection. Yeah, trying to get a little reflection in there because, you know, wet sand. Of course. So what are um, you using right now to do that? So I copied the layer um, and then I just flipped it. And now I'm skewing the um, perspective to kind of give it that, you know, mm. um, camera angle. And, and this is reflective in the water, right? Um, this will be in the sand. I'm going to oh, clean up cool. the water a little bit here. Um, you shouldn't be able to barely even see it when I'm done because, you know, it's not right. It's not a strong reflection. But. That's great. So it's kind of like the, the sands of time. Yeah, there you are, go. Are <laughs> consumed by Tatis. I'll look at that. And what is this you're doing right now? So here, these are different blend modes. And you mm -hmm. can, um, ooh, that's kind of nice. Be a little too light. But... We'll be the judge yeah, of that. You can, just... They, it just um <laughs> sorry, I'm talking to myself, no, 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 not you okay. guys. Um but the um so the layer, yeah, it basically just makes the layer and whatever is behind it um blend mm -hmm. um differently, if that makes sense. Nice. And uh <laughs> there are so, all those different options. So so essentially you have this, you know, uh the, this image of course of Tati swinging in the ocean, essentially. Uh, are you going to have text or anything else attached to it? Or are we just generally going to get just this experience well, of him? Well, I'm hoping I can have some type going on. That's kind of my my forte is the type. So, oh, yeah, the, Like the Vin Scully one still stuck in yeah. my head. And the targets for the year, like a 50s commercial ad is, oh. Have we seen the Vin Scully one yet live? Uh, I, I, I've missed it if we have. I've been um, very sad that one never showed up. Did we never post? No, that's a live. That's in an article. No, it is. Oh yeah, the Vince Scully article. Yes. How did I miss it? Oh yeah, that that was that was back in July, or so. I'll, I I I'll, I can bring that one up for you guys, um, right now. Uh, it's it's a wonderful wonderful, uh, graphic. Uh, I'm pretty sure. We've got to. No way. Wait, I can't find this. <laughs> no. No. Oh man! All right, I will. I will get to the bottom of this. It it, it is an it is a Hall of Fame graphic. So. So this is actually not looking as good as I thought it would. So I'm a little annoyed there. This is when I do the cut for the TV show. Like Jay Hall's is uh, having a little bit of trouble. <laughs> to, to the next thing, but um. All right, guys. Uh, oh, sorry, Jr. I'm gonna move on now to to Packard. Uh, all good right. luck, uh, getting this look right. Welcome back. Hey, what's going on, Packard? Okay, look at this. So you've had some things here. Yeah, so I'm laying on a few options here. Um, playing with some effects around him. They want to play off the Slam Diego theme. Justin brought up a great point about, you know, when you're designing these wallpapers, you want to make sure you people can see their time and um, the, 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 the time on their phone, the clock. And also, I, sometimes, like, personally, I like a nice neutral color scheme. 
from my wallpaper because I don't like it to be too flashy and I like the, the time to actually pop. I'm also playing with some, um, you know, some typography here. Oh, nice. Might want to go off the Slam Diego theme. Sure. I got a few options that I'm, you know, debating, but I feel pretty good. One Once thing I've I... always said is that Michael Packard has the best fonts. <laughs> it is the typography on your graphics are bar none. Thank you, sir. All right. So, I mean, even the, the, the you, know, you, you gave two options for the PL Shorts uh, PL Pod graphic. And I like the other one because the typography on that was just so good. So, you yeah. had a little short to the to the font too. I thought that was brilliant. I mean, of course, the one that actually went out with the clock is great too. Um, but I, 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 there's something about yeah. You you have the best font, so I'm excited to see that as a product. And look at this orb that you've made. How'd you make that? Yeah. So um, there's 3D programs that sometimes people will make. Um, 3D abstract renders, you kind of call it. That's how you can kind of search for it. And it's it's just um, like a almost like a lighting. I can switch it back to the normal mode so you can see. And what you do is you kind of just mess with the blending mode and it'll add some kind of effect. Like this background around the circle was all black. I kind of had to delete that so I can just use this as the focal point. Once I set it to an option, you know, like screen, um, then it kind of acts as you want. And then you locate it behind him you can kind of intertwine it with him there's tons of things you can do all right well yes, uh, looking great uh, i can't wait to see how this all comes together in the end um, oh, yeah. awesome effects here so far really excited about it excited to pull back the curtain for you guys oh it's so great thanks a lot michael thank you sir all right i need to take a quick break because guess what i Eric Van Rehan, of course, one of our editors, just showcased this is the Vin Scully series. Look at this! Packard! It's amazing! It went out. It was a Colin Carlone article uh, last year in August. Uh, by the way, guys, we have dates now on the site. We actually have the right, right dates inside for articles, which is awesome. Super excited about that. Look at this graphic! That's a Hall of Fame graphic to me. I just wanted everybody to know that. Uh, and I'm, we're going to go now to uh, to Ethan. Who is, he's fighting with the big boys, but honestly, Ethan, the work that you've done is fantastic. You have no reason to feel intimidated here. I've always love what you've done. Look at this. So you're doing some really cool stuff here. I'm doing the font dance, and I think uh, every <laughs> designer will, will uh, know this. Um, uh, I've got an image in my head, and uh, I know what type of font I'm looking for, but I couldn't name it. I couldn't name it, so uh, just in... Uh, <laughs> Seeing what I've got, I think every designer has their go-to websites um, and uh, their go-to tricks and, and ways of uh, coming up with fonts and, and finding them. So um, I've got a little notepad here. I'm just writing down ones I like. And uh, uh, yeah, I'll go back in a minute and go, you know, say, all right, I like this one. I don't like this one. And, and uh, yeah, but uh, the idea is to have this this text overlaid on top of Tatis. And I found this really great image of uh, Petco uh, to put behind him. and. Uh, yeah, have you uh, have you had the chance to uh, to go to Petco? Oh no, I've been to I think five stadiums in my life: Coors, and then Old Yankee Stadium, and then New Yankee Stadium, and then Shea, and then City Field. It's really embarrassing, and I wish I wish I, I, I can experience all of them. I just haven't had the opportunity to yet. So Petco, I've heard great things about it. It is better than advertised. I mean, even the stuff you see wow. on TV, it just, yeah, it's some of the views, especially if you catch a game that starts like uh, six, seven o'clock. And so the sun is sure. setting, you know, oh my gosh. There's I'm nothing good. like a perfect, like cool evening. And then you have watch baseball with them. We're not too cold though. There are times like you don't know if you should bring a jacket to a game and like, it gets too cold and that's the worst feeling. Absolutely. But I feel like San Diego would just be ideal. Um, this is a really cool effect you have here. So you have this black and white, stadium behind you and then you're doing the font dance but you have the font in the full colored version yeah uh so it's called uh it's called a clipping mask right so i've got the uh the uh text basically clipping the image so the image is laid on top and then i've got a, another copy of the image underneath um and uh, i made that into black and white so just so the text would pop that much more nice well it's a really really cool effect um, and yeah, I'm hoping, I'm looking forward to you landing on that font. Um, is there anything else that you're going to be adding to this or is it just really just going for this font and you feel like, uh, you know, you've nailed uh, what you're going for? 
Well, the clock is always a factor, um, but uh, I've got some ideas. It's all yeah, it's all going to depend on how much time I have. All right. And well, you got 34 yeah, minutes now. Fun. Hopefully, you find that font soon. Appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Okay, we're going to go back to Justin, who's now just the top half of a head. Uh, <laughs> right. I'm stretching. That's my working pose, where I just get the worst oh, posture yeah. you Leaning imaginable. That. I know it all too just, well myself. I stop, I'm just like this way. I walk around all day. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see what you're doing here. Okay. Wow, look at this. So you've okay. So you you've added a very small. Oh, font. Like, you're doing like, the font oh, dance too. Said, wow. <laughs> You're you're doing the font dance too, kinda. Yeah, I don't don't want to spend too much time on it, so um, I'm just this is good enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so how did you get the uh, the San Diego? It looks like it's a really cool blending you're doing, where you you have it overlaid, you know, but also not in other situations. Jared did something earlier that I do like. Whenever sometimes you come across something, you <laughs> sometimes by accident you'll just go wow, wow, like, like that. That's kind of happened with this. It's just like oh, that that, that looks okay. <laughs> like I, I like that. Um, a lot of the things that look cool, it's not intentional. It just kind of happens by just you know messing around with uh, the different options within within Photoshop. So um, you know, sometimes you go for it and it's intended, and sometimes it just kind of happens. That's the magic of it, I suppose. Well, all right. Uh, by the way, thank you for guys noting that the clock had stopped. It's at 29 minutes. It's still going. I just need to get the window up for uh, OBS to recognize it. Uh, I'm excited to hear the whole process here about the whole little additions you made, like some little um, some shadow you have there right in the center. You've darkened uh, yeah. Tatis and a really good saturation, I think. Uh, it looks fantastic. Uh, and I think at the end, what we're going to do is whenever you guys will each be able to present your graphic and showcase all the tools and methods you used uh, to create it. So really looking forward to that as I'm not going to let you share your screen anymore and expose how many tabs and, and bookmarks you have any longer. So, uh, so I'll let you go back wait, to what, that. What, what can you see? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Oh wait, Nothing. Uh, yes, it's up there. That's why you see that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll be back, Justin. Okay, we're going to go back now to JR. JR, where are we at? And look at this. You've added a really nice filter to this. Yeah, I've been playing with the colors a little bit, trying to give it that sunset y feel. And then for Tatis, he was front lit, but he's facing away from the sun. Um, so I had to swap that. Um, and yeah, I had to add the shadows in the foreground, which. Not sure how <laughs> effective I did at that. <laughs> <laughs> so you you've axed the uh, actually you have a little bit of the shadow still there actually I can see it at the bottom. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, yeah. That's kind of how sand. I don't. I, I'm looking that... at the wrong computer to talk to you. Um, <laughs> that's kind of you know sand doesn't reflect super well, but it's also wet. I don't know. I might need to tweak it a little more. Later. I feel like that should be on a board. It's like it's somewhat wet, but not really <laughs> sand. I'm like, ah, probably J.R. Keynes. My general um, process of working here is, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of what's happening here. I mean, I understand that. It's kind of like learning <laughs> music a lot. You just keep playing notes until you get something that you like, right? Yeah. There you go. Well, all right. I'll check back in on you later, but I'm excited to see the whole process of creating those little shadows and getting that right saturation that you're going for here. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go back to Packard now. And Packard, well, look at this. You've changed the background significantly. Yeah, I'm trying to dumb down the stuff that's sticking out too much. I've, I've landed on uh, some text that I like. I've decided to take uh, the color fill out and just keep it strictly outlined. Um, do you happen to know Tatis's number off the top of your head, sir? I'm not going to cheat for you, buddy. <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta learn these things. Um, yeah, it's so true. It's so true. And the chat doesn't know either. So it, it doesn't, no, I can't even see the chat, <laughs> but it's okay. I see how it is. No, yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm an impartial judge. I can't, I can't be helping you out, Packard and not the others. But, uh, but all right, so wh why did you elect to go away from the colorful uh, blur that you had before? Well, um, it's just too distracting. I'm really just looking to make it all kind of uniform. I don't want 
something to be the focal point that I'm not intending it to be the focal point. Um, I'm because Tatis is the focal point here. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. So I'm really just um, still laying out the map work here. Once I get it all blended in, and then um, I'm probably gonna end up having to change the color because right now it's very bland. And um, yeah, not gonna fly. But I, and I don't want to make Tatis black and white because that would be the only option right now is to make him grayscale as well. So I'm gonna have to incorporate some color as well. Still work on the background, but overall I like the direction I'm heading. All right, cool. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing the result. Thank you, All sir. Right. Oh, you yes. gave me credit for the uh, Vince Scully. That was J.R. Keynes. I do not want to. Oh, no. Oh, it was, it was J.R. Keynes. Did I say Packers? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. definitely. No, no, no. 100% yeah, Keynes. Absolutely. It's okay. it's okay. So good. So good. All right. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> All right, Ethan. How are we, how we looking here? Uh, making progress. So did you find the font? I found the font. Okay. We're all settled in. Um, so now, you know, my vibe, my thought was like, let's kind of go with a, like a baseball card type of vibe. Um, so I'm going to add, um, uh, I can't see it right now. So I'm going to add um, uh, like a little signature. Um, so I'm just going to uh, go back to the dance, going to find a little uh, a script. Type so of I like that so idea. Like so, you're, so you're trying to approach this like it's a baseball card. Exactly. Oh, that's a cool idea. That, that's nice. And yeah, I see that you have like a large shadowy Slam Diego going. Added a couple effects to it. Really uh, played up the, the color versus the black and white. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, so um, it's going to put this little signature down here. How are we doing on time? Uh, we are at 24 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. Just under uh, 24 minutes. So you've got, you guys some time. You've got more than, or around half, halfway there. After this signature, uh, what else are you thinking of doing to this? Definitely playing around with Tatis a little bit more. Really just okay. like making him pop a lot more. Um, and then uh, lastly, trying to incorporate uh, the new Padres logo in some way. Um, you know, uh, I think someone mentioned that this is kind of an older jersey. Um, so trying to find uh, something that's like very 2021. I love those new jerseys. So really trying to incorporate. Definitely. Yeah, Jake Roy definitely threw you guys a curveball by giving you the old jersey here. But but he did a great job, and and uh, it it saves us so much time oh, yes. uh, to not yeah to not have to uh, cut that out. Absolutely. All right, cool. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing those uh those additions to this, and uh, again that real baseball card feel. Sounds good. All right, we're back to Justin, who's looking thrilled. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's it's coming okay. It's coming okay. okay. I, I, it's interesting hearing what like you talk about everyone else's because I can only imagine what they are, and it all sounds like it's a little different. Whoa, so what is that? I don't know what that is. I'm trying to figure <laughs> it out. <laughs> you just this way. You just found this randomly. Yeah, I mean it's something. I will we'll we'll try to make it look cool. One second. <laughs> <laughs> is this going to be like a background? To oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, that is really cool. Oh, this man. This is the magic of blending modes. <laughs> so essentially blending mode, what it does is just makes them both transparent on each other? Yeah, it's because like, it, it, there's some modes that'll take out the black, some modes, wow. modes that'll take out the whites, some modes that'll like inverse the colors. It just depends on whatever you're trying to do. And um, I think this one works. You're You're really leaning into that city skyline, you know? It's, it's there. There's, there's. I see some boats in there. You got San Diego. It's this just screams San Diego. It screams it. <laughs> Don't you no, see I it? Think this, it? I think this is really cool. I, I love the uh, the nebula that you added behind it. Um, what other things do you think you're going to experiment with with your final 22 minutes? Uh I don't know. Like getting ideas from other people. Maybe I should um, throw in. Uh, maybe a signature probably is necessary to put in here um i hadn't thought of that so thanks ethan <laughs> <laughs> um uh, i have a, a cool thing that i i did um I, I did with signatures recently for uh it was actually on a football one that um i don't know if i can replicate but i'm gonna try to replicate it mm -hmm. so we'll see we have we have just what 25 minutes you we have, have some 21 time, so. minutes pretty much on the dot right now left 21 minutes left okay yes all right okay Good luck, Thank Justin. You. We're all counting on you. <laughs> all right. Okay, <laughs> all right. 
We're going to go back to, to JRK who's changed it up a little bit. Look at this. Well, I'm I'm still uh, still working on things here. <laughs> well, I mean, everyone is, of course, but I really do like that Tatis in the background. Oh, okay, good. The orange is. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to make this sunset look more sunsetty and less sunrisey. <laughs> sure, sure. That's a hard thing to do. Yeah. I, I wouldn't actually be able to tell you how to define a sunset versus sunrise. I guess more orange. But San Diego is more like blue and orange, harsh. Not saturation. that orange, though. <laughs> oh man! How about this that? That's <laughs> a little, little. So too here's much. a little. This is a little glimpse at what the blending modes do. <laughs> sure. Ooh. Oh, I, all I'm learning today is that without the blending modes, you guys are nothing. I mean, that's that's a complete. Lie. It's not wrong. <laughs> No, this is great. This looks really, really smooth. I like the fact that the Tatis itself has its own uh, transition and gradient separate from everything else. Thank you. Yeah, really yeah. Nice I touch. didn't want to. I didn't want to hide too much of that sky. <laughs> of course not. You didn't want to do that. Um, what other additions are you thinking about making to this? There we go. Oh, that's that's uh, what I was wanting. Um, I think that just kind of cleaning it up and getting it to look um right at this point i don't know i i like simple uh, i'm looking at the wrong computer again um <laughs> but it's so yeah i don't know maybe if something strikes me i'll i'll decide to add something but i'm trying to think so the time is at the top i'm those guys mentioned the time showing in the phone before i didn't uh, yes think that <laughs> So I, I can I can show you what. Uh, so I might what, have no, to move everything down. So here you go. This is my phone. Those are my two yeah, nephews. I'm gonna look over here. So look. you can kind of see. Yeah, yeah, I've seen okay. this one right here. Right there, there is the. Uh, yeah. Time. Two that adorable nephews. Little. That's right in front of Tatis. So. But all right, this is a, this is coming along very nicely, Jr. And I'm right. excited to see the finished product. I wonder here. I'm gonna. I don't want to lose too much of that reflection now. Ooh. Mm. Sorry. Right, well, I'll check you back in with you leave. soon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to jump now to Packard. Designs by Pack, of course, wisely putting his Twitter handle inside of his name. Smart man. <laughs> and, oh, we've changed. We've moved away from the, the gray. Yeah. So a lot of times when you see these graphics on the website, what you don't see is the two or three, uh, you know, kind of scrapped graphics that don't quite mm. make it to the uh, to the front page. So sometimes when I'm having a tough time, you know, furthering a graphic, I, I, I'll i just rip it down. I'll just rip sure. it down from scratch and that, that it really helps. So um, I like the direction I'm heading a little bit better now. And the goal is, you know, not everybody's a San Diego fan, but I want everybody to feel like this is going to look good on their phone despite not being no a San Diego way. fan. No way. Are you – wait, hold on a second. What you're doing there to Tatis, you're turning him into the jersey that we all know. Uh, I'm not. What are you talking about? Well, no, well if, if you did that filter again – okay, I don't want to help out with the thing, but it looked like it was a it was a gray and, and brown jersey. Oh, it might have happened. Uh, there might have – like the text might have overlaid and changed the color. Like the blending modes that you – Yeah, well, yeah, the, it's – I'm Make not going to sure. give any help, but that, I thought that was a very interesting hit. Now, you turn the uh, the skyline um, now to the bottom instead of to the side. kind of looks like a Godzilla uh, look to it right, right now. <laughs> yeah, so um, the the previous skyline, it had a lot of areas that needed to be cut out. And I think mm -hmm. the guys have made it pretty clear that uh, cutting stuff out takes time. So <laughs> I decided to go a different way. And that's really Absolutely. what the blending modes do. You know, they, they obviously help blend. But they really sure. save time, you know. They allow you to do to make some of these effects. Right now, I'm just using a, um, a layer mask, so I can use a brush to kind of take away gently from Tatis, make him blend in a little bit more. Right, right. And yeah, it doesn't look like he's just completely stomping on the city now. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want to look like that. you just put a sticker on your graphic, you know. Right. You he's not. That. He's not invading. Yeah. He's there to live. For he fourteen well, it's, years. It's, it's, he is the god of that city now. So. There it is. Well, all right. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> what do you mean? He's going to be the face of the MLB. Cody Gwynn forever. Okay. 
Oh, not if we want young kids to get back into the sport. I'm just saying he's the Tony Gwynn is the god of it. You know, maybe one day Tatis can join him in the ranks as long as he is productive for 14 years. He's only had about 200, you know, under 200 games. Okay. All oh, right. I'm buying the hype. Of course I am, but he's got to, you know, he's got to do it to become a god. He's on the path. He's got to do it. But maybe your graphic will prove I mean, Machado me did finish with more MVP votes than him that last year, didn't he? Probably. So, because Tatis didn't have a good second half in that. Well, second half is like really one month last okay. year. But that is a look at that. You found the number. Pretty embarrassed. I couldn't guess that. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> uh, Noah Scott tried to help you cheat. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. I will be sure to grab his request in the, <laughs> in the spreadsheet when I see his oh, name. Oh, man. Absolutely. Uh, but this is looking great. Love, of course, as always, the font choices that you're making here. So, I uh, uh, love this new direction. Um, and excited for what the finished product will be. Yeah, I got to finish soon. <laughs> yeah, you got under 15 minutes, Pac. Get to it. <laughs> All right, Ethan. Hey. How are we feeling? Oh, look at this. Oh, you've got a nice little addition to that signature. Um, I'm playing around with the signature. I'm playing around. I'm trying to incorporate a little bit more of the team colors. You know, that that uh, like dark brown and that gold are, are really just making me you know, think of that that San Diego uh, jersey. So trying to Absolutely. incorporate that. I don't I don't love the way this looks right now, so I think I'm going to scrap it. But uh, just the, the yellow layer that I'm mm -hmm. kind of toggling on and off. But, uh, you know, I've got it down here. I'm going to try and find another way to incorporate it. So, and then uh, I think I'm done giving away secrets because uh, <laughs> people seem to be listening. So, uh, but thank you for whoever suggested the clock. Thank you. I not think well, I mean, everybody is helping each other out here, Ethan. So no need to hold back. How did you add that that element of the the, the broad stroke of the brush um, for so the Tatis? We've got uh, this is Photoshop, right? Um, and mm -hmm. we've got a bunch of different um, presets in here as far as brushes. And um, a lot of uh, designers will uh, put theirs out for free or sell them. Um, so these are just you know, hundreds that I've accumulated over different, uh, you know, over the years and some are for different purposes. This is one I actually use for hair if I need to touch up a photo, but I just thought it looked cool. I was just messing around with different stuff. And, with hair? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So if you can imagine that on a very small scale. Um, if you're just, you know, hair is not, um, if you if you get hair under a microscope, it's actually not like a straight um, solid thing. It's got like little fractures and chips and stuff in it. So um, it looks a little more realistic if you're like filling in you need to cut out, you know, a person, a headshot, and use a different background. Sometimes the hair gets messed up, and so that's what uh, that's what you would use. All right, nice. I uh, so cool. So we have 13 minutes left. Are you, how how confident are you feeling here? Um, I mean, uh, I I like the way this looks. I'm very excited to see what everybody else is doing. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'm gonna let everybody know. Um, if you're listening right now, one of the requirements that I didn't mention was that you should be sending uh, your finished product as an image to me so that I can personally share it when we go over uh, each of them for you guys to do it. So it's just easier to share and put up on the screen for everybody. Um, so make sure you do that. Put in the time. I don't know how long it takes to just export these. I would imagine pretty quickly. But I, uh, but still, oh, you got to get rid of Will Myers. Get out of here, Will Myers. Are you going to be able to put on Tatis there? Where you, how are you going to fix that? Uh, that's that's the plan. So we'll, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Looking forward to that. Uh, I'm going to go back now to Justin Paradis as he fixes posture, and it's back. There it is. A better posture now. <laughs> Sorry. So, so what what ha what additions have you made since we last spoke? I mean, I, I added the signature. I just want to point out that um, Tatis has one of the better signatures in all of sports. He takes his time to go through it, and and really, um, you don't feel like you got two like you know letters with a little line next to it. So um, I took some time to add that in. Nice. And um, mostly just putting finishing touches on at this point because I don't really want to change it crazily within the last ten minutes. <laughs> Right, so, right, right. So, so what, uh, what kind of tools do you think that you could suggest for other people as you made this? What kind of tools for what? Yeah, did you use for this that you might suggest other people, uh, you know, use when they're making their graphics? So, I mean, a lot of this, it's a finishing tool that I use, and a lot of people use it too. Is just these color lookups at the top. Like if you look at where we were right before I started, this is where mm -hmm. we started, and then 
I'll have a couple of different layers of color look lookups um, just to bring out different colors within the image. And it's mostly just a, a feel thing. You know, there's probably um, 30, 15 or so of these to use. Um, but they don't have their, and you get to know them after. When I first saw them, I was like, I'm never going to be able to learn what these things are. But after you use them a lot, you, you realize you know, which ones are good, which ones are not good, and, you know, which ones to stay away from. So it's kind of a, you know, something I use just to bring different colors. I mean, I think when design comes down to it, at least for these type of designs, lighting is super important to get mm -hmm. um, a realistic feel. And um, the color contrasts are really important as well. So uh, the, those are the things that, where I try to focus on um, throughout throughout my designs. Nice, awesome. Uh, yeah, and what we'll do at the end, uh, Zod Tola, wonderful name. Um, what we'll do at the end when we all present uh, our graphics, because they're gonna be sending them to me, we're gonna have a moment as each uh, designer gets to talk about their uh, wallpaper, how they made it, and they'll go through the layers and the whole processes uh, of, of that they used inside of Photoshop as well. So it might be a little bit redundant with Justin, I realized that as I asked it, I'm probably going to ask you a lot of the same things again. But I'm uh, excited stuff. to see no, this. None of the yeah. layers are named, so it's going to be. We're, we're all going to find out together what they are. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that sounds great. Uh, this, I think, this is going to be the last time that I check in with you, Justin. So uh, okay. this is the last. This is the last thing you guys are going to see. I think so I'll probably stall friend. the last couple minutes and get, let you guys put on your own finishing touches. Um, but uh, good luck, Justin. Thank you, Nick. All right, so we're gonna go back to Jr. Jr., how are we looking here? Well, we got so far. Okay, you have I know, about so nine far, minutes. I'm running left. out of time here. You are. I'm just trying to. You gotta get that butt highlight in there. <laughs> trying to. <add> some, <laughs> when we have to cut out players, it gets even more awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures oh, so this is, this is great on. though i mean this isn't something that i i think is talked about a lot is actually so what you're doing you have a tool here that is brightening right so this is the dodge tool which is a classic photo like his hands right here are too dark so the dodge tool lightens and the burn tool darkens which is mm. their photography terms okay um back when people made photography <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then you can, so you can select what, if you want to highlight, uh, hit the highlights. Like right now I have the burn tool, which darkens and I want to burn these highlights. So you can see though, uh, and that's getting some weird coloration in there. So sure. you can also adjust the exposure a bit. Um, but you want to make sure you hit the mid-tones too, or you're going to lose any sense of contrast. Right, right, of course. Man, it looks so uh, great. I don't know. That might well, not it, it, like You don't realize that you need to do something like that until you do it? Yeah, that's kind of how most of like. I mean, I think you noticed, like... The first few minutes, this is a weird. Yeah, that, I've, I've noticed that from the very beginning. That is a weird wave you, you took. I didn't do that. That's part of the photo. <laughs> and now it looks, ugh. I might now it's going to stick that. out to you. Maybe you can put some some text or something over it. Uh, you can put whatever his number is uh, over that, as I'm not supposed to give suggestions. <laughs> and, and, hey, I'm, I'm not as good as you guys are. You guys, I think all of you will know at some point, you made a graphic for me. I gave a suggestion. You did it for me. And then I said, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right completely. That was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> so I apologize for that uh, uh, completely. Oh, jeez. I don't even know how to fix it. Well, well, JR, you got six minutes and change <laughs> to figure it out. All right. Do you even need to? Is it going to be something that the, I'm probably, uh, the chat will care well, about? Well, now that we'll I pointed out. it out to everyone who's on. <laughs> Uh, ben Brown, I see that you're watching. I'm going to put you in charge of tallying up the votes from chat. Okay, I, I imagine it's going to go a little too quick for me to figure it out. Uh, so Ben Brown, you're going to, I'm putting you in charge to then send me over Discord uh, the final tally if you can. That would be the best. Thank you very much, Ben Brown PL. But all right, good luck with this. Uh, I, I, so you're using the clone tool right now. 
Yes. Okay. And this is this is kind of working. Yeah, it's not advised, but I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I actually have not thought about. So the key with the clone tool is just to find something that, like, if I can grab stuff from over here, even right, better. you can do that. But, yeah. So this, dang it. <laughs> this uh, layer is huge. So I have a lot of ocean to work with here. You do. Yeah. Oh, you this... can just move them along, right? You don't even need to move this them is... that spot. Ooh. Well, I'm going to leave a surprise uh, for everybody my, else. It, too much of my image is already. I'm going to I'm going to leave the surprise for everybody else. It's the last time I'm going to check in on with you, JR, so. Uh, how Good much luck. time I got here? You got about 5 minutes. Go oh, luck. <laughs> All right, Packard. Uh, I I I kind of don't want to show yours cuz I feel like it's almost done. So I'm going to leave it here with five minutes and I'm just going to talk to you for a second. How do you feel about it right now? Nice and zoomed in. So a lot of the time I spend um, designing, uh -huh. Yeah. I uh, I hate the graphic the entire time I do it. So a lot of right. the like, touch-ups, like the last two, three minutes of the design is really when it all just gets pulled together. So I'm at that sure. step right now. I'm okay. kind of blurring the edges so you can't mm -hmm. tell that this was just dropped into this. Sure. Uh, it's going to look a little bit more uniform. And then I'm going to go in, edit the color. I like to do the text uh, last, like just add it on top. That way uh, nothing gets altered in me altering the photo. And uh, yeah, just a really boring finishing touches that actually help bring everything together. All right. Uh, so I, I'm not showing yours. I want to keep this a surprise for everybody. Um, and uh, how are you feeling on a scale of 1 to 17? Oh, I'm a solid 13. Okay. All right. That's above average. Yeah, not good. That's not above good. average. Not bad. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you, sir. It's been a fun. It's been fun. <laughs> All right. And lastly, we have Ethan. I'm not going to show yours either. Sounds uh, good. I feel like it's too deep in the process at this moment. How are you feeling? I'm working on like the tiniest fraction of a detail, but that's <laughs> just sometimes how it goes. Sure. Uh, I think we've all been there. So uh, yeah. Um, uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I like the way it looks, you know, uh, okay. and I'm going to say that until, uh, you know, I see my competitors and go, why did I do that? But, uh, <laughs> you know, I like the way it looks now. And, uh, you know, um, uh, it's, it's, it's a fun time to be a Padres fan. And I think we're going to see a lot of people, uh, oh, man. uh, you know, showing up for them. And I, I think it's just, uh, if you're, if you're a baseball fan, if you're, a um, uh, if you're, you know, Padres fan, it's just, just exciting. For oh, absolutely. I, uh, I mean, that rotation is super fun. You have Tatis now locked up, so you can feel confident uh, for years uh, with Tatis and just the entire Padres team. Uh, Machado obviously coming back and doing well. Maybe Paddock will rebound as well. Uh, but yeah, there's just a lot of lot of positivity in Slam Diego, and it's going to be really. I, I'm going to enjoy a ton watching the Dodgers and Padres go back and forth at each other for years at this point. And Preller isn't messing around. He doesn't it's care. He's got of, money to sling. It's kind of like an evil empire like vibe with the Dodgers now, right? With just oh, yeah. the they're able to throw around and, you know, like you wouldn't think they would need or be able to sign uh, uh, Bauer, but then they, you know, they dropped all that cash on it. So, what is a luxury tax, Ethan? Yeah, right. <laughs> what is it? Uh, right. You know, can you can you ask that to uh, Tom Ricketts? Because I'm a Cubs fan, and whether uh, <laughs> not been spending. You got your you got your win, Ethan. You got it in 2016. Okay. I don't, I don't know if can you see me right now? Oh yeah, my screen. So yeah, right above me here is my my framed Chicago Tribune. Uh, you know, from when they won, I've got my my World Series hat. It's. Uh, it's never going away. I'm, uh, I'm going to watch 2016 until they win again. Well, fantastic. All right, I'm going to uh, to sign off here and leave you two for your final 90 seconds here, okay? Sounds good. All right, so we have 90 seconds left. I'm going to bring this up so that you guys can see that better. Uh, in this final 90 seconds, what's going to happen now is once it hits zero, all of our contestants are going to send me an image directly on Discord of their finished design. I'm going to share it myself so it's larger and bigger and we can look at it uh, much better. Uh, 
and then they're going to talk about each individual um, element of that design, why they made the choices that they did, uh, and then as a group at Twitch, I will, or Twitch and Periscope, of course, but actually we're only going to be counting the votes on Twitch, so go to twitch.tv slash pitchlist if you would like to vote. Um, it's where everybody's hanging out, uh, so you should be there instead of on Periscope. Uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Jake Roy, uh, thank you so much for the suggestion of Tatis and helping oversee this competition. Uh, this is really fun. Uh, we've already had talks about maybe doing more of these in season and not just saving it for PitchCon because I think all of our designers and also the others inside of our staff would love to showcase their skills and really just have a little test here. Not to mention this stuff they can use completely now. You guys are going to be able to get these wallpapers from these uh, designers to use for your phones as well. So five seconds here. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. I, I, mice down. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what to say there. Uh, you guys, can you please send to me on Discord your finished product? Um, I see actually here, I have uh, Justin Paradis uh, ready to go. Uh, so actually, let me save this. I'm going to bring him in first. So remember, you're going to be voting at the end. Uh, you're not going to be voting now. Let me get rid of this. Uh, so you, this, uh, No, not that. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Uh, I'm going to bring in Justin. Say, so, Justin, how you doing, man? How you feeling? I feel great. I feel great. You feel great. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I, I'm super interested to see what everyone else did. And um, I'm sure that I'm probably going to finish uh, lower in the pack. And that, that's fine by me because everyone here is super talented. And i um, just happy to be um, playing along with them. It's, it's been a lot of fun. I absolutely love that. I mean, they are all incredibly talented. And, you know, the whole thing doesn't exist without you, Justin. Well, so... <laughs> So excited, nice. of course, uh, <laughs> to be doing this. And yeah, I wouldn't feel right without you. By the way, if you enjoyed this, you should be joining PL Plus, guys, because every single night, I mean, most nights, you can find Justin Paradis inside of our voice chat, live streaming him making graphics, and you can ask him all the questions you want. So here is the finished product, and I'm going to try to... Get can I expand it more? Come on, let me do it. Ah, I cut off his okay. knees. That's, that was part of the design. <laughs> oh, there's got to be a better way to do this. I uh, hold on, hold on. Maybe I'm. Oh no, I think I'm doing the wrong thing. That's why. Share screen. No application window. I uh, I am sorry. Hold on. Just give me a second. All right, I'll just do my entire screen. Um, over here. That's what I'm gonna do. So. Let's pull that over here. By, by the way, um, my yep. bus ride to work back when I used to go to the city, New York City, was about an hour. I used to design that time. So that was good training for this. <laughs> there you go. Uh, all right. This should work. So there you go. here is Justin Paradis's submission. And I absolutely love it. I want you to talk through your entire thought process here. Uh, and I, I it's, unfortunately, you guys can't really see this lovely signature. Really, really well done. Uh, maybe I can zoom in to the bottom of this. And no, it's not even letting me. Okay. It's not even letting me scroll down. So I guess not. But uh, <laughs> Justin, talk to me about your process of this and the tools you use to make this happen. I mean, I, with this time, I just tried to do things that I was comfortable with doing and not trying something really all that new. Um, you know, it's... You know, you come to learn and people that are designers know that there's these things called smart objects. So sometimes if you screw up, you can you can uh, use a smart object and, and copy and paste something over. Like when I finished this, Tatis's name was in the SD and you couldn't see it at all. So using that, it helped me. I was able to move it down and then finish it off. I mean, I, I tried to do the... What I, what I wanted to do was to have the city kind of pop out and then the light kind of like flow over Tatis, but it just it wasn't looking the way I wanted it to. I, I found this other, you know, I don't know what you call this Aurora or whatever it is, kind of threw it on top of it, a little electric view. That, that's it. Just looks cool. I was trying to make it look as cool as possible. That's all. <laughs> it's something I want to put on my phone, really. Well, I, th I think it looks fantastic. Um, I also, really, um, really like I like the El Nino edition at the bottom. 
Um, the signature looking really nice and blending with the uh, the same blur of the nebulous the nebula. Um, yeah. you've got the city in there barely. There are but boats. That's okay. There's water. There's water in it's San there. Diego. It's there. You don't know that it's San Diego. You can't tell that it's San Diego, but that's okay. You follow somebody the that has a boat in San Diego knows that beer and like oh, that's definitely San Diego. So that's, it's that's very interesting that. because your your filter on Tatis is a little different than a couple others that we've seen. Uh, the different approach this is more of the bright shining star that is Tatis, as, I, as I'm interpreting this. Yes, so I got exactly. You. you nailed it. That's exactly what I was <laughs> So this is fantastic. Uh, this is Tatis Jr. from Justin Paradis. Uh, awesome, awesome job. Uh, I think I'm still waiting on J.R. Keynes to send his mine my way. As he's breaking the rules, he's got to send me the uh, the final product. So I will jump to Michael Packard's. Uh, thank you so much, Justin. All right. Uh, Packard, how are you doing? I'm going to bring yours on screen in just a I moment. It might be a little large. Uh, it little might large. be. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, let's take this away. Uh, oh, man. Ah. Showing folder. Love his confidence. Love it. <laughs> Great leader. <laughs> uh, let me let me get this. Here we go. And this is yours. Yeah, this was hard. So you oh. you really shifted. So you had the the vertical, uh, and then you went fully away from that, and then you went to just a little subtle, not well, not subtle, but smaller. Twenty three Fernando and a small Tatis Junior. What made you make that change? Yeah, as I um, well, I kind of had to wrap it up. Uh, if this was for pictureless, I probably would have made a third version, to be honest, not to slight myself. <laughs> but I, I kind of had to wrap it up, and I put the text on at the end, and I didn't like it, and I didn't want to break the rules, so I had mm. to go quick with you know just what I know. And uh, yeah, man, that was real difficult. Well, I I really do love though. You not only did you have that orb in the middle, you also added the, also the swing paths in there too. Yes. So the orb I thought might be a little bit distracting. Um, the, the swim path worked a little bit more in my favor. Um, one of the last touches I, I ended up finding, I, I was able to put a pattern in the background above the gradient, and it has like an ocean look to it. Uh, so it gives the background a little bit of texture, and it's not just a gradient. Um, yeah, I think that that's a really nice addition. Uh, you, you added this fog almost. Is that above San Diego as well? Yeah, uh, I rely on stuff like that a lot to just kind of help with the blending mostly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it looks great. The, the blend also of Tatis above the city and not looking like Godzilla or Tatiszilla, as I saw inside the chat, yes. uh, is, oh. is really well done uh, on top of that. So, And I, I got to say, too, I think my favorite part that might get overlooked a lot, you added this. Yeah. This little it's shine. It was really interesting to hear J.R. Keynes talk about the lighting because the, the lighting in the photo, and you know what it is? I think it's these athletes that play in these really sunny areas. The, the lighting, is, it seems like it's just coming from all areas. So you really want to respect that, you know, and honor the lighting coming from above. And you can kind of see it from his backside too. Um, yeah, that made it, made it pretty difficult. It's uh, It wasn't easy, but you guys tackled it excellently. It's a really nice submission here, Michael. I know you said that you probably would do a third one. I think this is great. You also you did leave this open, but that's where the time would be. And this yeah. is this will be, and you added also a little extra hint up here. Yeah, that's to kind of show where the light would be coming from. Um, right on top of his helmet. Thank you, man. You got a great eye. I can't stress it enough. You got a good eye. A lot of people overlook stuff like that, but well, no, I'm just yeah. looking at it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's good. No, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm being real. Uh, like you said earlier, Al, I'm sure that I've made a suggestion to you guys and you come back and said, no, you were right the first time. That's never happened to me. Anytime okay, you make get out of here, Packard. I've done that multiple no. times with you. No. Uh, you just don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, but a you know, really, really nice, nice submission here. I think you did a great job, Packard. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, we're going to move on to J.R. Keynes, who actually did – send me his his photo this time his image this time which is good <laughs> i was i up. was trying to figure out how i thought yeah yeah i got it i got oh, it look at this oh i think you chose a really great last thing like you you went for a oh, long my time word. between filters i that look. so 
I the Tatis the the word Tatis in the background is cut off at the ocean line. So when I moved the entire ocean over and had to, <laughs> I was lucky in that the spray coming over his his uh, left foot here was um, it, it still worked with the new um, the new background, but sure. the horizon was totally different. So I had to go in and you said ninety seconds, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> racing the horizon line and drawing a new one in that moment and i was like oh my gosh oh man i mean but this worked out perfectly you don't have that little blob at the bottom anymore yeah and it's more distinctly sand so that yeah. now you can actually see the reflection yeah and it, i think you pulled that off really well better. it was it was the right move i wish i had you know like four more minutes to do, make it but mm -hmm. the <laughs> The, uh, the butt highlight looks great. <laughs> uh, also on the front thigh and the hamstring and the back. Uh, I, and again, I really, I think the, 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 the thing that really sets this one apart in many ways for, well, differently, I should say, the really like the standout to me is the, the filter you have on the font because you have a general feel the entire way, but it does stick out Tatis in this really nice gray that fits everything else, but it is a different entity to the rest of the graphic. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, one of my, so I didn't have time to figure out one of the things I like to do on most of my images. Um, on this one, there is an orange layer over the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, so this is just kind of a little inside baseball for everyone. But um, <laughs> so generally, if I'm putting together pieces from different places, you know, the whole time I'm working, I'm trying to make the lighting work and adjusting the hue and the saturation to match. But a little trick I like to do at the end is I put a color layer on top of it, and then I just turn it way down. Um, and usually I will add noise which is a, a something you can do in Photoshop that just gives it a little bit of a grain mm -hmm. just so that, because with photos, they're all, you're bringing them in at different sizes, um, different resolutions, uh, different settings that they were taken in. And all photos have a little bit of a grain to them. And so this colored grain layer just kind of gives it a uniform over everything and brings hope, I hope makes everything look, uh, like it belongs together wonderful i mean i yeah, i think you did a really great job with this and the lighting too we talked about with uh with justin is that he really emphasized the lighting of the hands and it was bright shining star and instead you have a lot more of a softer look a darker fade to it yeah because uh, the sun the is like there. there's not a lot of sun and it's all behind him so right. yeah that makes a lot of sense it has a really nice look to it great job jr thank you all right we have one more contestant and it's Ethan Kaplan, and I gotta get yours set up because, of course, I didn't do that yet. I, uh, how you feeling about yours, Ethan? Oh, you're muted. Can you there hear you me? Hey. Yeah, there you go. Um, I think it came out pretty well. Um, you know, I, I definitely, given the time constraints, was able to get most of what I had in here Ooh. onto the screen. Oh man. So, so there, okay. So you got the Fernando Tatis Jr. in the back here. Love that. You got his name in. Little, little details. You know, I just know I've in that Will Myers and gone. Yeah, it's not right. And, and it is really cool. I got to say, I saw it before when you were preparing. I love the color infused with the dark fade here. Really stands out. It's a nice, clean look. It's colorful, but also dark at the same time. You also leave the space for the uh, for the time at the top and you have the signature here with the the hair strokes exactly yeah great yeah. great stuff there uh, I it's, it's the little things too you know the, <laughs> the, the highlight around the San Diego is that that Padre blue and, and it sometimes it's that little stuff that pushes it over the top I was able to find, um, get that that yellow in the background as well just so definitely and, and what other elements did you use to create this? Um, so I found a signature um, uh, on a on a ball. Somebody had signed it, or you know, had, had taken a picture. I'm sure they got it, like gave or something. And so that's his his actual signature there. Um, and then very very faintly behind San Diego and above the stadium is the uh, the that classic SD logo um, that you're seeing on the jersey there. I just wanted to tie that in. 
Um, and uh, uh, that was really it. You know, I, I spent a little bit of time, I don't think it, I was uh, on camera, but I spent a little bit of time just touching up his photo and really making him pop that much more. Um, there's this filter called uh, Camera Raw um, that uh, just makes uh, a lot of elements, you know, you can tweak certain things, highlights and shadows and things like that. So um, that was it, you know, that, that hour went by really, really quickly. All right. Well, it looks fantastic. I think you did a, a, a wonderful job with this. Uh, again, the Slam Diego. I love the fact that you ran with that. Uh, and it's, uh, again, the baseball card look. I think this is my favorite part of yours is really this looks sleek as hell. Like that, that stands out. It feels like it's a card. Like this is a signature. It's, 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 oh, it stands out in a really, really nice way. Um, really great work here, Ethan. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Um, so I'm going to bring back all of our contestants here. Um, and, uh, I, I, <laughs> sorry. Um, so great, guys. Good job. So everybody That's has awesome. been voting. Uh, I'm going to say, get your votes in, in, in the next five seconds. Uh, and then Justin is going to give me, uh, sorry, Justin, no, Ben Brown is going to DM me the results. Uh, I want to say. First of all, thank you guys so much for participating today. This is this was an amazing event, really. Like with everybody here, I uh, sticking around and watching this uh, to see kind of what your life is like creating these and to create an amazing wallpaper, four of them, um, in under an hour, uh, without knowing what you were gonna do. You know, you didn't know who it was. You didn't know what the style was gonna be. You didn't. You just kind of just did it, and you're showcasing your actual natural talent here. Um, so really, thank you guys for participating in this. Really excellent job all around. Uh, and it just kind of goes to show like how dope the graphics team here is at Picture List. Like, if you didn't believe it before, I don't know how you went. Now you know. Like, unbelievable. Um, so, <laughs> all right. Uh, ben Brown uh, has has maybe the results. Um, he just He just wrote the word ticker to me so oh never mind i fixed it i fixed that ben brown he doesn't have the results for me yet i'm so uh, glad i don't have to vote <laughs> <laughs> agreed that's impossible it oh really man i uh, the tension is palpable i think all of you guys should be winners um the winner of the first graphics draw off is jr canes what you guys voted wrong but thank you <laughs> so i uh, to commemorate your your win um you get actually a uh, a new a a graphic from me um and uh this is what it is congratulations you win <laughs> Really hosing down. You there. you stick with uh, writing the articles and doing the podcast, okay? <laughs> oh man, um, I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, everyone, you can. Uh, uh, Justin, Ethan, Michael, Jr. Please be posting your wallpapers on Twitter. I'll be retweeting them from this. Um, if you want the full size and everything, you can find them on the Discord. They'll be more than happy to to let you use them for your phones. Um, really, thank you guys for being a part of this event. Uh, I hope we get to do more of them because this was great. I, yeah. I had a really good time. I mean, I know I'll never be a Photoshop guy, but I feel like I could maybe do something terrible, but not as terrible now. Because of the <laughs> if I can learn, anyone can learn, Nick. You um, to YouTube has a lot of tutorials. So, <laughs> well, and I'm, I, you know, I've been a professional for 20 years, and I'm still saying YouTube has a lot of tutorials. <laughs> Well, I, I should actually say before we go, uh, JR, um, you have uh, 30 seconds for a speech. Oh, um, I am honored to be a part of this amazing team. And I think Justin really, like, for the years that he has held the house down all on his own, like, <laughs> there's nothing any of us that can design that makes up for the effort and time that he has put into this project and, and the team is amazing um so much talent ethan and michael are awesome and yeah 
that's it. I'm honored to be a part of Pinterest List and be on this awesome graphics team. So you certainly are on the graphics team awesome because Justin Paradis made the same mistake you just did and called it Pitcher's List. But uh, it's- Did I did I pluralize it? I never write it that way. I know because I think about- <laughs> You guys don't know Justin Paradis like, applied to Pitcher List by saying, I'd love to be part of Pitcher's List. And the best thing I ever did was overlook that. But congratulations <laughs> once again, J.R. Keynes. And thank you guys for being a part of this. Uh, but I think it's I think it's time to close PitchCon. So thank you, and hopefully we get to do this again.